Also, I'm playing one of my older videos, which in that video, I played another older collection update video. Maybe this video will be in a future collection update video. My man don't got no legs, man. Come on, Hasbro. What's up, everybody? Rocky Mountain Figures here. Today is the day we can finally take a look at the second half of my display, which is the comic book Marvel display. Whilst taking a quicker look at uh, some of the updates that I've made to the other half of the display that I've already showcased in part one. If you haven't seen part one yet, I highly recommend you do so. I'll leave a link for that video in the description below, but uh, it should be on my most recent videos list. So uh, just go to my channel board and you'll find it right away. Thank you guys for being patient through this almost a year long journey since my last display update video, which was in May 2020. We're already in April, so almost a year now. Uh, again, sorry about that. So we're going to basically do the same thing we did last time in part one where uh, the first part of the video is going to be uh, just me going through the show, talking about you know why I pose this figure like this and so on and so forth, whilst the other part of the video is just going to be me scrolling through the show slowly with uh, background music and no commentary. So I'll leave a timestamp to skip to uh, the no commentary section right there at the bottom of the screen, and of course it will also be in the description below. So without further ado, Let's take a look at uh, this side of the room and some of the updates I made to the second half of the room. Let's go. Okay, so to start off, let me show you something that I've done with uh, this shelf in particular. So in case you've noticed, some, one thing has changed, or a couple things have changed, but uh, the main thing I want to talk about is the placements of the Star Wars figures and the Transformers figures. I actually swapped them. Uh, so what happened was... I was kind of feeling uneasy uh, about having the Transformers in the middle of like two live action heavy shelves. You know what I mean? So like Star Wars is mainly live action figures. Same thing for NECA. And then uh, it, so it just didn't seem right to me. But um, what happened was while we were mounting this TV, which I'll get to that in a second. Uh, we had to actually take off this whole entire shelf. Uh, so I... You know, they gave me the opportunity to do a quick swap while we're at it. So, nothing has uh, specifically changed in terms of, like, posing and placements of figures. Except one thing. I'm not sure if you can see it from this angle, but if you have a very keen eye, I actually added a new figure. So, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I added the new Boba Fett figure. The deluxe Boba Fett figure from a Black Series that just came out recently. I got it on my local comics and stuff. Uh, from uh, Chula Vista, awesome. They had some real. They had a pretty good price for it. It was about thirty eight ninety nine. I know that seems pretty heavy, but I haven't seen it in stores. And uh, I went to Frank and Sons this past weekend, and man, everyone was selling that Boba Fett for like about fifty to seventy dollars. It was insane. So I figured, hey man, thirty eight dollars. That's technically like 
getting it from like Big Bad Toy Store or Target.com or whatever. You're basically just getting it plus shipping. So I figured let's just get it. So I got that. And uh, I really want to do a review on that figure. I know it's a bit of older reviewed figure, but I really want to do a review on it. So that will come out soon. Now, to get into uh, the TV, I have a couple things to explain. One is the TV backlights. I added some uh, backlights. I'll leave links to that in the description below. Uh, they're from Goovy. This is the uh, Goovy Immersion backlights that I talked about in part one that I was getting for the uh, back of the TV. So besides from the lights, I also got a sound bar. Uh, this is a LG sound bar uh, 3.1. The subwoofer is under my desk. I'll show you that in a second. And this is the camera for the uh, immersion right under the TV and the, uh, the sound bar. But this sound bar is awesome. I love it. I love using the uh, AI Sound Pro specifically because that's the closest thing you're going to get to a uh, surround sound system. One other thing that I did uh, that you probably did not see in the trailer because it wasn't there uh, is uh, Nintendo Switch. I put that here. Now, I don't normally play the Nintendo Switch, especially on TV, but I decided to hook it up here because my brother plays a Nintendo Switch, uh, mainly the uh, just a handheld version. So I decided to hook it up here to keep it charged for him. So that's pretty neat. And now getting to the TV itself. I'm not sure if you noticed, but Either this TV is on steroids and grew a lot, or I bought a new TV, and the answer to that question is the latter. What happened was, you know, of course, the reason why I got that first 4K TV in the first place was to, you know, make it more compatible with the the next-gen consoles that I had, right? The Xbox uh, Series S and the PS5. Little did I know, which I don't really know much about it until after I learned about it, was about the FPS, the Hertz. So the TV that I had before that was featured in part one, um, that wasn't 120 Hertz, which is compatible with 120 FPS, if I'm not mistaken. So I got this new TV from Costco, 600 bucks, and it's 120 Hertz, 4K, perfect TV for my, uh, for my consoles and movies and so on and so forth. So. That's what happened, so I just got a new one. I sold the old one to my grandma because that, because she said that she needed it for um, for her home in Rosarito. So that's what happened there. Uh, yeah, I know you guys are probably going to point out what I said a long time ago. Hence why I am broke and have no more money. I promise you, I don't have any money. Oh, <laughs> uh, that didn't age particularly well, huh? Well, to tell you the truth, how I made my money was from Instacart, eBay, OfferUp, and Mercari. So, uh, uh, Instacart is basically where you, um, where you're basically picking up other people's groceries. That's like the short version of it. I'll just leave it at that. It pays really good money depending on who, you know, places the order, especially for people from Ridgeville, Coronado, California. Who? Yeah, that's where I got my money from. <laughs> So anyway, uh, one other thing that I wanted to show off in terms of like updates that I've made to the shelf is this spot right here. So one thing is this uh, Cobra Commander uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I totally forgot this was coming. I ordered this somewhere in the fall and uh, man, it just recently came in this past month. Haven't opened it up completely. Another thing to point out is the Thanos figure, which the glare is kind of getting in the way of. Hold on a sec. There you go. Hopefully it's a better uh, lighting right there but there is Thanos the recently released Marvel Legends deluxe box at Thanos I got it hidden for me from the awesome couple who has been hiding stuff for me and my brother in the past uh, mainly for my brother but this one was for me I did not open it because I have enough Thanos as it is so I decided to keep it in box and put it on top of this which was from uh, an awesome follower Ernesto or e collector on Instagram so make sure to go give him a follow now, another thing that I added was this uh, Moa Burger Wavy Pringles uh, bottle right here, or can, whatever you want to call this. I added this uh, behind the Master Chief, so I uh, thought this was pretty cool. It's limited time only, so I figured, hey, that'd be cool to just place it behind there. It's only going to come out for a while. Another thing, too, is that Mandalorian uh, tin can right there that I got also from my grandma. Uh, she went to Vegas recently and picked that up for me, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then the last thing 
is this E Honda figure that I got from Frank and Sons, dude. This thing is sick. I never thought that they would make an E Honda figure. I never thought SH Figure Arts was going to do it. I never thought Storm Collectibles was going to do it. Not primarily because, well, he's big boy. He's chunky. I was just thinking with the material that they like to use, it, it might really hinder the uh, articulation a lot. But they, they got around it. This guy is as mobile as uh, Ryu and Sagat. So very awesome that they were able to uh, do this. This is definitely my favorite one uh, as of right now. Um, amongst the three here. So very awesome to have got that for freaking sense for a really good price too. Ninety dollars. On Amazon it was like a hundred and twenty dollars, hundred and ten dollars. I don't know what it is now, but uh at Ageless Geeks booth in Frankenstein's ninety bucks. So happy to have that. Now before we continue one thing that I wanted to talk about, which if you haven't seen my Instagram, I posted on my store that I was 99% or 98% complete with my room. And the only thing that I needed to get done was the bed, which uh, my very, very cute dog happens to be sitting on. Hi, Benny. How you doing? That's right. You sleepy, huh? You clean now. Like, good thing I took your shower. Because uh, you were going to be on camera today, huh? Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, this is the only thing that I have not yet uh, set up because my brother hasn't moved out of the room. But what I can do is talk about like what I am planning to do with the bed. What I am planning to do is once he gets out, I am going to you know, get some new sheets. Some uh, red and black sheets. That's my favorite color combo. So I'm going to get some red and black sheets for uh, for the bed. And then I'm also going to put up some more of these goofy uh, Wi-Fi light strips uh, that is going to go under the bed. And uh, this should be long enough to continue on putting on the dresser right there. So that will be fun to do. Uh, hopefully that will come to fruition and it will be executed successfully. Now, speaking of lights... Here is uh, the little mini table right here where I put my water, or now I put my water and my cup, and it also has uh, it also has Alexa right there as well. Of course, uh, without any explanation, I set up some lights here too, but uh, these are not Wi-Fi compatible lights, or at least the control box is not Wi-Fi compatible. So I will have to get myself a control box that is Wi-Fi compatible that way it can connect to the Alexa because usually what I like to do is you know if I have all the lights off I like to say Alexa turn on all the lights and I'll turn on the lights over here which we'll get to in a second and on the TV so that's you know I like that feature a lot with Alexa plus she's also an, a, a big alarm clock too so really like that a lot and I also just like what I did with the desk overall it looks very organized and very clean and so on and so forth I'm a very organized cleanly guy so anyway, uh, getting to uh, the next part, which is the posters. I, once again, also said in the last video that I was going to get a bunch of new posters to uh, put up on the wall, and I did. So I got this Batman Arkham City poster, Transformers poster right there, Halo 3 poster, which is also the wallpaper to my phone as of right now. And then I also got, uh, or reorganized all this. So these are posters that I've already had, but, you know, just put them there. And then I got the lightsabers. Which I'm not sure if you can tell, but they are kind of broken. I explained in the last video why they're broken, so make sure you go check that out. Then I also have this awesome Vader poster. And then, uh, of course, most of the stuff is uh, the same, just, you know, repositioned. And then I have this Spider-Man card for the remastered game that came with the Miles Morales PS5 game. So I decided instead of throwing that away, I can maybe just use it to fill in that blank spot. And I also have the Bumblebee poster and the Street Fighter card. So, yeah, got those new posters. I like them very much. And now on to the desk. So this is the the desk from last video. But I also put up some uh, Govi light strips on here as well. These This is Wi-Fi compatible, Alexa compatible, yada, yada, yada. You've already heard it. And I love it. It definitely makes the desk pop a lot more. Uh, and uh, I, it looks very nice overall. Now, just to get a quick update on the snacks. 
Uh, you guys are always very interested in my snacks. Literally everyone is. My family, you guys. <laughs> Ever since I introduced the secret snacks, always got to ask. Or always got to feature in every video. So there you go. I got a big bag of Mexican Doritos. Not American. I love Mexican Doritos a lot more. They're a lot more... Uh, they have a lot more uh, Dorito dust on them, which is very good for taste reasons, and uh, they're just they're tastier, and uh, they're a lot they're a little bit spicier too, so adds a little bit of spice to it as well. I also got these um, these uh, Reese's peanut butter cookies. They're really big cookies. I don't want to bring them out right now because I don't want to mess it up. I also got some dog treats for my dog, and then three packs of sodas because at Target they were like, you know, buy two get the one. 30% off or yada 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 so I got that and then in here is obviously the mini fridge and uh, I did drink some soda earlier so uh, it's not full but yeah there it is the lights are kind of <laughs> putting some glare on the camera sorry about that and then I also have uh, this is the subwoofer for the speaker or for the um, for the sound bar on the TV and then there's my red uh, review background right there and now one more thing I wanted to showcase off because I really, really am happy to get this is uh, the Frank Miller Batman comic books. So this one my dad got for me at Frank and Sons when he first went. And then this one I got for myself at Comics and Stuff um, alongside with the Boba Fett because I got this and the Boba Fett uh, at the same Comics and Stuff right after I got my vaccine shot. So it's kind of a celebratory uh, item that I wanted to pick up for myself. Uh, yeah, they're actually right next to each other. The comics and stuff and the the place where I got the vaccine shot, right next to each other. So, very convenient. I uh, like that a lot. So, yeah, I got those two, which I'm going to read very, very soon. Let's get to the exciting part. This, which I just noticed one of the lights aren't even on. Oh, wait. Before we get to it, I forgot to mention, uh, my parents got me these at Frank and Sons, too. Uh, those two posters, Back to the Future and the Grogu poster. Okay, now we can get to the good stuff. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. And um, I'll fix that light right there, too. So let's go. So starting off with this shelf and working our way up. This uh, whole section is pretty much like a Hulk, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Black Panther display. So uh, I have a lot of Black Panther figures. So I figured it was inevitable that I was going to uh, make a mini Black Panther display. And here it is. I like it very much. It's not too stan... It doesn't stand out too much, but it's still a really nice addition here in my display. So, of course, front and center is the Walmart exclusive classic Black Panther. Then I have the uh, Vibranium version of um, the Vintage Wave Black Panther. That's also Walmart exclusive. It's also not focusing. What's going on with you, camera? And then back here, I got this uh, Black Panther coin bank or Black Panther bust that I got from uh, also my grandma. <laughs> then uh, back there is... Uh, Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther. There he is. And then behind him is Killmonger. Hold on a sec. There you go. Killmonger. So, now let's get to the Spider-Man shelf. So where to start, where to start. I guess we'll start at the top right here. Uh, there is Jessica Drew on a thumbtack. Which actually, while I was posing all these figures, I actually broke her arm. Uh... Uh, I just put it back. I didn't fully like fix it or anything, but I think it was this arm that I broke uh, while I was trying to uh, pose it around. So, uh, <laughs> bit of a boo-boo there. But anyway, there is Cosmic Spidey. Always have him on a thumbtack. And then there's Scarlet Spidey. Uh, with no webs, but still doing the, 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 web, the web thing right there. And now I love this pose a lot. I'm glad that I was able to get him in this pose. Uh, Spider-Man 2099 gliding. Anyway, moving on, here we have the uh, Ultimate Teenage Spidey right there. And then we have Superior Spider-Man, which is uh, my first ever Marvel Legends figure. So, special place in my heart for that figure. Anyway, going down, we have Spider-Man Noir. Uh, homemade suit Spidey from Homecoming. My favorite uh, Spider-Man figure besides from the Retro Spider-Man, Black Suit Spider-Man. Spider-Ham. Spider-Punk. Big time, no letdown, Spidey. Uh, Peter Parker with his two girls, main girls, Gwen and Mary Jane, which for this Mary Jane kit bash, I used the uh, 
the recently released Moira Metagger body. And then I just put the Mary Jane head sculpt on that body. It sits a little high, but depending on the position you have her in, like the one I have now, it looks fine. Then in the corner right there, I have Scarlet Spider. Next is the Iron Man display. So front and center is, uh, I think, really my actual first Marvel Legends figure without me even knowing it was a Marvel Legends figure. I got this one out super, super young. So there he is standing proud amongst his uh, hollow armors, which I got the Invisible Iron Man, Mark 7, Game Rivers Iron Man, uh, 20... Uh, 2020 Iron Man, there you go, and then Guardians of the Galaxy Iron Man, Hope Buster, and the two War Machines over there. Um, well, that's like the light's kind of covering it. War Machine from Civil War, and then the Punisher War Machine. And then here, I did something pretty cool. I gave the Hulks a display. Had a lot of Hulk, so I put Red Hulk up there. Uh, She-Hulk, which is gray She-Hulk now, I guess, because they're coming out with the, with the more green She-Hulk, and then gray Hulk. And Green Hulk and Gladiator Hulk. I hope Maestro can fit up here. Same thing for maybe that Green She Hulk if I ever decide to put her up here. Because, um, yeah, these were these guys were a main problem when it comes to space on the shelf. So if I have another big boy up here, it's gonna be difficult to fit him up there. But hopefully he will uh, be able to uh, join the shelf. Okay, so I was thinking about doing uh, this shelf first, but I feel like going to the uh the villain shelf first which uh i'll start on this side the symbiote shelf so let's get to that right now so let's start at the top right here i of course put red goblin and the black suit spider-man up here fighting each other i did this a while ago in fact that's probably the video uh that i have playing on screen over there uh, but ever since then i haven't done it for a while even when I updated it and didn't film. So I'm pretty happy to get that going again. Now, starting off with the symbiotes, here I have Scream and Lasher, and in the middle is uh, Phage? I think that's his name. And behind them is Toxin, big boy Toxin with all the tendrils. I got him at GameStop for really cheap. Uh, I think I had like a discount on it. Or actually, no, they were on sale, the action figures, for like 30% off. Plus, I had a $5 coupon. So, I got him and Quill for really, really cheap. So, glad to get that. The back, I have the Diamond Select Venom with all the heads. I have the the second issued Carnage right here. And then I also have uh, the Peter Parker uh, Anti-Venom right here. Uh, I know that's not his name, but I um, forgot the name of that one. Then I have uh, Port grind, and then behind him, I have the Mac Gargan Venom, which is a bit hard to see. There he is. I have Mac Gargan Venom. And then transitioning to just our Spider Man villains, here I have, uh, you know, regular Eddie Brock Venom, and then the uh, Absolute Carnage, Carnage. Uh, but in this case, he's just normal Carnage. And then behind him, I have Mac Gargan. I also have Mysterio, Lizard. Electro, Sandman right there, Diamond Select, awesome figure, uh, Shocker, Craven, Doc Ock with the uh, custom tentacles right there that I did not make myself. I just bought that off of James. Uh, it just came like that, so I was like, yes, I'm picking that up because <laughs> I didn't want to make it myself. I'm not very good at that. Uh, then I also have Green Goblin and then Vulture on thumbtacks uh, on both corners of the wall. And then moving on to our more uh, less po less powered villains from Spider-Man's Rogue Gallery. Besides from Rhino, of course. He's just chilling back there. I have Black Cat and J. Jordan Jameson, which both of them I got from Frankensons. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so right now I just turned down the lighting for the camera a bit. Because it was a bit too bright, so yeah. But anyway, I got the J. Jonah Jameson awesome figure, except for the feet. Uh, Hasbro, stop reusing these feet. They're so hard to set them up with, man. Getting that rant out of the way. There is Silver Sabla Nova. And then I have Tombstone and Beetle, which is an Iron Man villain. And, and a Spider-Man villain from time to time. I got Big Boy Kingpin. And right there, you can't really see him, but I got Taskmaster. And then bullseye and now we're going to uh like the avenger villains pretty much so first i have uh abomination 
leader, the Hydra troops right here, and the, the three right there. And then I have Doom, which I think he's kind of causing this light to pop out just a bit. Because as you can see, uh, it's kind of popping out a bit. But that's fine. I have Claw back there. And then I also have Ultron and... Uh, what's his name? R not Red Guardian. Uh, Crimson Dynamo. There you go. I can't wait to see how the new Hasbro Ultron stacks up against this Diamond Slick Ultron. Possibility, I might not get it. Just so I don't, you know, uh, spend my money. But um, maybe I'll get like two of them as like little minions for this Ultron. Two or three, you know? Maybe. Possibility. That will be cool. Because this Ultron is honestly... It's definitely going to be... This Ultron is definitely going to be bigger than the Marvel Legends Ultron. So, I mean, that could work perfectly if you have this one. And you are interested in getting that other one. But at the same time, you're like, nah, I don't, maybe I'll skip on it. You know? Then we got kind of the space villains transitioning to the space villains here. Uh, still kind of Avengers. But here I got Destroyer over there. And then I got um, Malekith. Then Kang. Which a lot of people put on their top 10 for 2020. Me, personally, I don't understand why. I mean, I he's really nicely sculpted. But... Honestly, there's not much to him, besides, I mean, besides the gun and the extra hands, which, uh, again, there's not much to him. I Maybe it's just me. I don't know too, too much about the character. I know him from the uh, anime series, the uh, Avengers Mighty Heroes anime series, but other than that, I do not understand why people are putting him on his, on the top 10 of 2020. That's just, that's just me. But I got the Diamond Slick Thanos, and then above him, Galactus, Toy Biz. Straight from James, baby. Haven't been to James in a long time, so um, I don't know what he's up to, but he seems to be doing okay. There's Titus, which I, I've, I've been trying to sell for a long time because I had no space for him, but luckily I was able to put him up here, so nothing to worry about there. We got Silver Surfer, which I'm pretty addicted to just putting him in the villain shelf next to Galactus now. I don't even feel like putting him in the hero shelf anymore. And then we have the scroll or the super scroll right here now before i get to the x-men section i'm just going to um adjust my chair because uh here hold on i need to adjust my chair because i need to move it uh over there so give me a second please that's better i also just woke my dog up from a nightmare right now he was or rather he was just about to have a nightmare weren't you benny Oh, my pobrecito. Okay. Anyway. Move the camera back. There you go. Now let's get into the X-Men shelf, which I am so proud of myself for finally being able to expand this X-Men shelf or X-Men villain shelf like I did right here. Very happy with what I did. There's Magneto on the thumbtack. Below him is Mr. Sinister, which I almost missed out on putting him up here. Man. I was like complete with the villain shelf and then I forgot about him. Oh man, so I was like, oh dude, I was so mad at myself, but luckily I got him up there. He's like kind of in a basic pose, which is, you know, a result of, you know, me forgetting about him, but it is what it is. He still looks awesome and very sinister, as he should. There is Pyro, Mystique with the Black Widow Sniper and Smoke Effect. Then there's Deadpool over there, Sabretooth. Omega Red. I can't wait for that Lady Death Strike figure to come. And then there's Diamond Select Juggernaut with um, Black Tom Cassidy. There you go. Then here's Apocalypse. Apocalypto. Uh, but I kind of put him in a pose that aligns with the uh, Toy Biz Apocalypse. Which I also got from James. So, awesome. Then I got Silver Samurai. Uh, behind him, Nimrod. Uh... <sighs> Why am I forgetting about these guys now? A Yeti. Not a Yeti, but... um. <sighs> and then on top of him is a Toy Biz Sentinel. Also, courtesy of James. And then... Sauron. There you go. Love this, man. Love it. I love the villain shelf, dude. I love what I did. Now getting to the hero shelf. Starting with the X-Men side of the shelves. And uh, starting with that is X-Factor. Uh, very small display for X Factor, but it's still pretty cool. I got Quicksilver here, or rather, Ralph Boner. Oh my god, I can't believe they just 
they pulled a sneak on us, man. Um, I mean, I was kind of expecting some of that MCU humor, as we've seen in previous installments of the MCU. Uh, I was really hoping that it was the X-Men Fox Universe Quicksilver that either Mephisto or Agatha brought in from the multiverse to convince Wanda to stay or whatever, you know? That was my theory, but I guess I was wrong. A lot of people were wrong, man. Wrong. We were wrongly wrong, man. I'm I'm not sure if my grammar there is correct, but y you know what I mean. We were kind of screwed over. <laughs> anyway, there is Strong Guy back there. Uh, Havoc. And then there's Multiple Man just chilling. And then Polaris right there. Moving on to the... Uh, X-Force shelf, starting with the black and white X-Force. And, well, actually, in between them is uh, Archangel. Pretty awesome. So, starting off with the X-Force, here we have the um, X-Force Wolverine, which, uh, fun fact, I'm pretty sure I said this before, but I actually found this at Target for $10. I'm not even joking. He was on Target for $10. I posted on my Instagram story a while back. Then in the back, I have Psylocke from the uh, Nimrod box set, alongside with... Uh, Phantom X right there. Is that his name? I don't remember. But I decided to put Psylocke here without any powers whatsoever. Just thought, you know, keep it grounded for the X-Force. Uh, and then we have X-23. And then in the back, I know she's not really X-Force, but just to fit in. And so that way she's not a complete, like, waste in um in my drawer of reje rejects. <laughs> I have the uh, Storm right there. Mohawk Storm. And then right here, kind of transitioning to like the more colorful 90s X-Force. Here I have Domino, which we are getting a new Domino soon, which I totally forgot to mention in um, the last um, FanFest uh, reveal video. So for, sorry about that, but we're getting her, a uh, classic version of her with, bum -ba -da -bum, Cannonball with legs, dude. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. With legs. That's awesome. Anyway, uh, we have Cable. And then we have uh, the um, the black and white X-Force Deadpool. Or, um, like, black and blue. Like, baby blue. You know, a little bit around there. And then we have Colossus in the back. Same thing. He's not really part of the X-Force. But I figured behind Deadpool, he'd be pretty cool. And then we also have Maverick from the classic X-Force team. Not my favorite figure. Um... Okay, so the mailman came by. That's why they were going berserk. Nothing action figure related came in the mail, so uh, nothing to showcase there. But here we have Boom Boom. And then I have Warpath in the back there. And then on top of him, I have uh, Sunspot. Sunspot. And it's also not focusing. Come on, camera. And uh, next to Warpath, I also have Thunderbird, which kind of leads us into our X Men, classic 90s X Men display. So, starting off this uh, X-Men shelf, here we have Gambit, which I put him in this pose where his face kind of matches up with how his fingers are positioned, as you saw in the trailer. Uh, right now, he's not positioned straight because, um, for the sake of the trailer, I kind of positioned him sideways, like, you know. But um, he looked great, nonetheless. And then I have Jubilee, Wolverine, and Berserker mode. And I also have Jean. And then I have uh, Colossus back there, the uh, the swimsuit storm, a uh, rogue, Cyclops. Of course, uh, you know, put the put the uh, love triangle right in front and center. I have Psylocke right there with her powers. Then I have Nightcrawler and a stand jumping in. Then right there I have the uh, blue and yellow X Men Deadpool. Then I have the White Storm from the Vintage Wave, Bishop, and Beast, which kind of leads us into the Avengers. Same thing for Neymar, he kind of also leads us into the Avengers. And Wanda right there, but we'll get to them in a second. First, I have the Retro Spidey, best Marvel Legends figure thus far. I'm just going to say right there. I, I like him more than Beast just because I have a more personal attachment with the character. I got Namor, uh, Nova, which is about to be blasting off. Not really the most dynamic pose ever, but still pretty sick. Then I also have Wanda and Vision next to each other. I really love the pose that I kind of got them in right there. With Vision kind of like 
slow, kind of turning his back. And then I got Wanda flying. Next, we got Hawkeye right there. Forgot him. Black Panther. Winter Soldier. Uh, Captain Britain in the back. Same thing for Ant-Man and Wasp and the uh, Human Torch. And then I also have the Walmart exclusive Black Widow. Iron Man. Captain America in a more dynamic pose than usual. And I also have Thor with the uh, Infinity War Thor lightning effect. I got the Diamond Select Hulk, which I'm... Depending on how, depending on if I get it or not, I might replace this one with the brand new Diamond Select Hulk. Then I have Wolverine, and then Shang Chi, which kind of leads us into the Defenders. But before we f finish up with the Avengers, I have Miss Marvel in the back, I have Falcon on the stand, I have Captain Marvel, and then in the very very back with no lighting, which I should get some lights for the corners right here. I have War Machine, and then. Also on the very, very back, I have Paladin, Iron Fist, uh, Daredevil with Elektra and Punisher. So it kind of got like the Season 2 Daredevil squad right there. Luke Cage, uh, Jewel or Jessica Jones, Cloak and Dagger, Moon Knight, which is an awesome figure aside from the cape. The cape is trash, honestly. I really wish... Hasbro would have went above and beyond and given us a cloth cape. Even if it wasn't like the best cloth cape ever, still would have been way better than this. Got the white suited Black Widow. And then here I kind of got the um, the new warriors going on. So I got, what was his name? Darkhawk? I think it's Darkhawk. Nova, Night Thrasher, and Rage. And then behind them, I have Ghost Rider, which is kind of leading us into the Fantastic Four because he did have a cameo. In the uh, 90s series of Fantastic Four. So up at the top. I have uh, Human Torch. Then right here I have the, uh, the Thing. Mr. Fantastic. Sue Storm. And Herbie. And then we're going into the last section of the shelf. Which is the space section. Here I have um, Star-Lord. Angela back there. Hercules flexing the muscles. Rocket Raccoon. Drax. Cosmic Ghost Rider, which is kind of clashing with um, the other one. Um, if you see right here, a little bit hard to see because all the figures in the front, but that's how I, that's what I got going on right there. And then last but not least, Beta Ray Bill. Hopefully he'll come into live action. I'm, I hope he does, dude, because that's an awesome character. Now, one thing I don't like about this shelf is this light in particular. It turns off and on. Matt, uh, in fact. It turns more off than it does on. I have to kind of hit it sometimes. Like, I'll show you right now. You see? Like, look at that. All the lights stay on. But this one constantly loves to turn off and play with me. So I might replace this guy with the extra one that I have. But look at that. Look. There, there, there you go. There you go. Loves to mess with me. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. It turns off. <laughs> but anyway, that is it for the room quick with 360 no scope let's head to the intermission hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video next we're going to go into uh taking a look at the display again but this time with no commentary and background music if you just came from the very beginning of the video where i gave you the timestamp, then uh stay tuned once again we're going to take a look at the display with no commentary and background music let's get to that right now
So we have arrived at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed both this part and part one. I just had fun making and uh, redisplaying everything again and uh, putting up new shelves and uh, new lights and, and etc. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to do. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned for the reviews that I will be uh, filming very, very soon. So with that being said, let's head to the outro. Hey everybody, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you drop a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram page at Rocky Mountain Figures where I do toy photography shots. Also, if you're in the position to help out and want some figures, make sure to visit me on eBay, OfferUp, and Macari. And if you haven't signed up with Macari yet, I'll leave a link down below specifically for that app. So that way when you sign up, you get a $5 coupon. And when you buy something with that coupon, I'll also get a coupon as well. So if you want to help out that way, links in the description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.